Not my brow hairs. What's a gallon of water? Oh god, that's really painful. I'm peeing with the door open because I've got children. in the title of this video I am doing a seven day water challenge why am I doing a seven day water challenge well let me tell you why I released a six-week health coaching program a little while ago and part of that program recommends you drink water while doing this YouTube thing I came across a couple of other youtubers mainly and they drank a gallon of water for a week and I thought I haven't done the challenge for a while so why not but while I was doing the research on how I was going to tackle this challenge, the one thing I noticed was that a lot of these YouTubers were in their 20s. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm a lot older being in my late 30s. Now, I was interested to see the results between a 20-something year old and a 30-something year old. So what are the benefits of drinking lots of water? According to Organic Facts, you're going to get clearer skin, you're going to potentially lose weight, you're going to detox the kidneys, reduce headaches, although I'm lucky because I don't really get headaches, so that's good. You're going to get more energy. Yeah, I definitely need more energy. And you're going to get mental clarity. What's a gallon of water? So it's 3.7 liters. Okay, so I've downloaded this water reminder app. 3.7 Hey, save. <sighs> We're gonna start tomorrow, I think. Day one of the seven day water challenge. I'm going to be completely transparent here. I'm gonna do before and after to see exactly what benefits it might have. I'm gonna start with skin. I wanna point out that I am 38. I'll be 39 in a couple of weeks. So this is the skin of a late 30 year old. If we look really closely, and mind you, I had an issue with adult acne, so there might be a few scarring that you might see, but anyway, that's traumatic in itself. But if we look at my skin, like really look, so this is the wrinkles. Yay, yay for wrinkles. Okay, there's, you know, this is my skin. There's absolutely nothing on my skin. Okay, if you see, I do have a bit of I've got a little bit of the wrinkles happening down here. Not sure what to do about that, but let's see if this water challenge is going to help, hey? And the other thing to keep in mind is it's really windy in Sydney and we're still in autumn. <coughs> Sorry, no, we're <laughs> not in autumn. We're in winter. And mind you, I have got the camera in my hand, so I was going to put on a couple of extra kilos. Oh my God, i put on weight. Okay, I'm a little bit devastated I've put on a little bit of weight, but to be honest, I don't really care. Don't really mind. It is winter. I generally will put on weight over the winter period. It's expected. But I also know that I can lose the weight very easy if I follow my health coaching program for weight loss. And also, I have been working on a new 90-day challenge which is me working out every single day for 90 days so i'm going to do a before and after shot of my buddy and to see if it really does make a difference if i put on weight lose weight don't know i'm excited um i'm excited to see the results and i'm going to be completely transparent with it and i honestly have got nothing to hide here so yeah let's see how we go starting with my feet because you know, as do you do. Working my way up and I'll just kind of... But this is what I'm looking like. First things first, we need to get our tools organized. It says here, make water you drink. So make water you drink, guys. So I'm going to need to drink, what, five of these bottles? I need to... Cheers. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to drink one of these every couple of hours. That should allow me to drink 3.7 litres of water. Is that right? So it's about 
10 o'clock and I this is my second bottle but I did have a cup of coffee this morning so I've had about 1.5 liters of water it's to be honest it's been really challenging trying to drink this much water especially in the cold I have no desire to drink yeah it's a little bit painful to drink when you're not really thirsty one of the things I really like to stress is to really listen to your body and that is my philosophy and it will always will be to really listen to your body and let your body guide you with what it really needs and right now my body doesn't need a gallon of water so it's been really hard to just try and and drink and I've had to get really creative with different ways on how I'm going to drink so what I decided to do was drink more water that has been infused with different fruits so for example I've been drinking water with strawberries and blueberries and mint and that just kind of flavors it up a little bit and makes it a little bit more tolerable to drink water and I've also been drinking a little bit more tea and I've been having actually two cups of coffee as well because it's been so cold like it's been so so windy in Sydney um, we're getting blown away. It's just crazy. Seriously, I'm not flushing the toilet every time I go because I feel like I'm going to the toilet like every 15 minutes. Is that a bad thing? What's wrong, Summer? It's disgusting. <laughs> mm. Is that one nice? Okay. <laughs> mm. You don't like flavoured water? No. Okay. I like Lucy. So I'm just going to drink some more water now. Here we go, because I'm sure you want to see that. <laughs> the Paris n'importe quoi. Leia's got to have keto, so I'm just sitting in the car with my laptop doing some work and drinking water. Cross, jab, cross, cross, up, up, hook, turn, cross, jab, cross. It is day five of this water challenge. Oh, a little bit over it, but we need to keep going. Oh my god, what are my brow hairs. Okay, I've got to do my eyebrows. Cut. Cut, cut. I wax my eyebrows at home because when I go to a salon, I start to sneeze and I can't stop sneezing. Lots of water can make you put weight on. Seven days later, what is the verdict? Yeah, I got a haircut. Do you like it? I need to get used to it because my hair was like down to here before. So, so what's the verdict? Let's see. I think drinking a gallon of water as well as doing the workout has really helped shape me up and tone me up. Um, personally, I can see the results already. I definitely have a lot more definition. I don't think this mirror does justice because when I look at the video and then when I look at 
what I see in the reflection of the mirror, it doesn't quite reflect what I'm seeing. So, which is a real shame because I can promise you that I have a lot more definition and I'm a lot more toned as a result of the workout as well as drinking a gallon of water. Now, what we're gonna do is check in on my skin because that was one thing that, out of all things, that I really wanted to see results in. As research has shown, drinking water does help with clearing up skin and skin issues and for those who don't know i have a history of adult acne which i suffered miserably for 20 years up until my early 30s so drinking a gallon of water in winter is challenging so let's see how the skin went if we look at the skin i think I don't know what do you think guys my main thing was this like the wrinkles happening down here I think there it's not as profound which is good and I haven't used any additional products or anything it's just water so it's good to see that that has really helped I think I can definitely say that this was no easy feat of a challenge when you've had children your bladder is not as equipped as it was before you had kids so if you have the urge to go to the toilet you need to find a toilet pretty quickly so i'm not sure if it really helped with the skin i did see a slight improvement but that's only after seven days what does summer want i think she's coming up the stairs i already drink lots of water as is but all i did was really add on more water than i generally would during the day hi summer hi <laughs> Oh, the story of my life. It's Thursday, it's my day off, so I've got her with me today. What have you eaten, Summer? I eat my apple and, and my and I have carrot. My carrot. All right. Say bye. Bye.